Hey ladies and gents, and good evening. Um, today I'm coming to you with a very small Dollar Tree and Sally's Beauty Supply haul. Um, I'm going to start with Sally's Beauty Supply because it's only like two items and yeah. One of the items was actually given to me by my best friend. Thank you, April. Um, uh, is a re-release of a holographic nail polish from China Blaze in tonight. Um, I don't have it on my natural nails because my natural nails look gross with nail polish on my natural nails. So as you can tell, I don't have my false nails on right now, but off to the side here after I wash my face and wash a whole bucket of brushes to the side and do another video I am going to apply these and these are my favorite plastic nails that I use that I cut and trim they are the LA Colors nails that I cut and trim to this shape and I use two coats of this and one coat of the LA Colors Rapid Dry Top Coat and I cut them to this shape. Um, I consider these like an almond stiletto depending on how long I can usually get them. They do have a very nice rainbowy effect and I can't wait to put those on because I've been missing my fake nails. The second item I have is from the reduced section at Sally's. Um, this is something I purchased myself for $3.99 and it's a um, eyeshadow and I kind of regret now that I didn't pick up the purple one as well because I think I would have liked to have the purple one as well but I was silly and I was running out of time but it's the Pallido crushed metallic shadows in uh, Meteor and it's just this beautiful coppery color ooh now I'm really regretting not picking it up ooh Ooh, can you see that? Oh my gosh. If you are in a market for a creamy, pigmented um, eyeshadow, now I'm really regretting not picking the, up the other two colors. This is like a beautiful, brand new, shiny, penny copper. Ooh, I cannot wait to use this. Um, I'm actually starting to think about using this along with um, along with like my Lorac Pro Matte Palette and using like maybe try and make a look with burgundy and this maybe. I don't know but this is definitely going to be in a video pretty soon. I cannot wait to use those. That. Alright, so let's get into the items that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, I did pick up other items, but I actually gave them to my nephews who are up in Wisconsin. They were my nephews because I bought them for my nephews and it was like... I didn't want to make a video about it. Although, I did make a video on one of the items that I did pick up, um, which I will leave in the description below when I do upload it. Hopefully I remember. Um, okay, so one of the things I picked up was a Wet n Wild Dual sh Pencil Sharpener, Razor Sharp Blades. Um, 
and I kind of needed this um, not so much for the little one but I'm hoping to be able to sharpen my Milani shadow eyes pencils because one of them has gotten dull and I can't push it up from the bottom like I can with my LA colors one so I'm hoping this will help so, yeah just a simple eyeshadow sharpener from Wet n Wild. The next item I picked up is a microfiber headband. Um, they just recently came out with like two new designs for the microfiber washcloths that you use to like, take your makeup off with. And one of the styles of washcloths is this um, diamond D effect. So I'm on the hunt for that. And then the other one is like stripes. And I use those every time now. I used to be a big fan of using like baby wipes to take my makeup off. But then I found the microfiber washcloths to take my makeup off. And I swear by those now. I do not use anything else unless I forget my microfiber washcloths and then I will be trying to get some baby wipes to take off my makeup but I'm mostly trying to use the microfiber washcloths so I'm on the hunt for those still but I figured I'd pick up the um, headband because I want to start getting back into using face masks so, one of the videos I'm planning to do is a uh, video on this. Um, so, yeah. And the last thing I found at Dollar Tree is um, a Blu-ray DVD. I think it's, a, I'm not sure if it's just a Blu-ray and a DVD or if it's just Blu-ray but it has Christian Slater, Jill Hennessy, have no idea who that is, and Donald Sutherland and it's called Dawn Rider Justice is a Quick Draw and um, Based on a timeless John Wayne adventure, Dawn Rider's riveting, riveting saga of retribution, duty, and valor in the American West. So I'm hoping that this is going to be good. It is rated R for violence and language. Um, but it has Christian Slater and Donald Sutherland in it. And if Donald Sutherland is in it, it's usually a good movie. Um... So yeah, and I'm really cur curious now because it says Blu-ray disc, but sometimes they mismark them, or the, they may sometimes be like older, and they might just say Blu-ray disc when they could have both, but it is just the Blu-ray disc, so yeah. And I will be trying this out with my family because we like westerns. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, keep an eye out for that video I was talking about of um, that I did with one of my nephews where we picked up the Dollar Tree um, excavation archaeology block. And you'll have to see what we thought of that video or that toy. I hope you enjoyed and see you in my next video. Bye.